How can you use properties to explain patterns on the addition table? Hi there. Today is the day of the Great Hot Air Balloon Festival. It happens every year about this time. Finn and I have been counting the number of balloons that have floated by. Let's see how many balloons we have counted. So far, Finn and I have counted nine red balloons and five blue balloons. I can find the total number of balloons by finding nine plus five. But Finn knows a different way to find the sum. His way uses a property of addition. Let's learn about addition properties to find the total number of balloons. Come on! A pattern is an ordered set of numbers or objects. The order helps you predict what will come next. You can use an addition table to explore patterns. Here's an addition table. Look across each row and down each column. What pattern is there? The numbers increase by 1, which means that 1 is added to each number. Shade the row for the add end 0. Now shade the column for the add end 0. Compare the shaded squares to the yellow row and the blue column. What pattern is there? The numbers are the same. The identity property of addition states the sum of any number and zero is that number. Now shade the row for the add end 1. And shade the column for the add end 1. Compare the shaded squares to the yellow row and the blue column. What pattern is there? The numbers are one more. It's like counting you get the next number. This means that the sum is one more than the other number. How does the row for 1 compare to the row for 0? Each number in the row for 1 is one more than the number above it in the row for 0. How does the row for 1 compare to the row below it for 2? If you add 1 to each number in the row for 1, you get the numbers in the row for 2. What might you say about the relationship between each row in the addition table and the row after it? If you add 1 to each number in a row, you get the numbers in the row below it.
Shade all the sums of 4 orange. Let's write some addition sentences for the sum of 4. Four plus zero equals four and zero plus four equals four. Three plus one equals four and one plus three equals four. What pattern do you see? Each pair of addition sentences has the same add-ins, but the add-ins are in a different order. The commutative property of addition states that you can add two or more numbers in any order and get the same sum. What pattern do you see in the shaded numbers? All the numbers are even. Now shade another diagonal from left to right in orange. Start with a square for 3. What pattern do you see? All the numbers are odd. The addition sentence for this sum shows that the sum of an odd number and an odd number is an even number. The addition sentence for this sum shows that the sum of an odd number and an even number is an odd number. And the addition sentence for this sum shows that the sum of an even number and an even number is an even number. How do you know when the sum of two numbers will be odd? The sum of two numbers will be odd if exactly one of the numbers is odd. Complete the addition sentences to show the commutative property of addition. Correct. 3 plus 6 equals 9, and 6 plus 3 equals 9. Find the sum, then use the commutative property of addition to complete the related fact. That's right. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Now complete the related addition sentence. That's right. The related addition sentence is 4 plus 3 equals 7. Is the sum even or odd? Select even or odd. That's not it. 
The sum of 3 and 8 is odd because exactly one of the add-ins is odd. Now let's practice with the personal math trainer. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Today we're going to take odd numbers and add them to even numbers, or even numbers and add them to odd numbers. And we're going to find out what happens when we do that. Let's get started. Take a look at our addition chart. I want to emphasize a particular diagonal here. It's a diagonal that starts with this number one and then goes down. You see three, five, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. Okay, so recall that each of these uh, numbers are the, uh, represent the sum. Those are the sum from adding two add-ins. For example, that number 5 comes from adding the add-end 3 with the add-end of 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. Great. So what I'm going to do is um, complete all of these uh, addition sentences right here. So what we have is a 3 plus 2 equals the 5. And let's go ahead and figure out how each of these other sums were found. Okay? And I'm just going to erase uh, these bars here and we'll do it just with our fingers. Okay? So how do we get the 1 in this diagonal? We add 1 and 0. And then how do we get the 3? That's 2 plus 1. How do we get the 7? That's 4 plus 3. The 9 comes from the add end 5 plus the add end 4. 11 comes from 6 plus 5. 13 comes from 7 plus 6 almost there. 15 is 8 plus 7 and 17 comes from 9 plus 8 and 19 comes from 10 plus 9. Okay, now what I want you to observe about each of these sums is that every single one of them has an even addend and an odd addend. Let's review. Remember, even numbers are numbers that end in the, num in the values 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Odd numbers are numbers that end in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So, going back, you see in the, let's go ahead and start with the 3 plus 2. Do you see that 3 is odd and 2 is even? So we have an odd number 
plus an even number, and look at our result. It's odd. Okay, let's keep going. Four is even, three is odd, and our result is odd. Five is odd, four is even, the result is odd. Okay, so let me help you understand what's happening here. Every single one of these sums is an odd result. We got odd, one, three, five, seven, nine. Aren't these all odd numbers? Yeah, and as it turns out, anytime you add an odd number with an even number or an even number with an odd number, right? It doesn't matter which order you add them. The result will always be odd. And this is just a demonstration of that. So, now we know when we add an odd number with an even number or an even number with an odd number, we're going to get an odd result. Now try your homework on your own with the Personal Math Trainer. It includes the exercise you saw at the beginning of the lesson.
Thanks for helping me understand addition properties. See you soon.